hope hope you're well. My name's Paul, uh, and this little world here is Rio Driving School. So if you're learning to drive, preparing for a driving test, or even planning to become a driving instructor, then these resources and this channel is going to be very useful to you. Uh, today we've got Ethan back in the chair. Uh, you'll see this time he's not wearing his hat, he's looking nice <laughs> and sharp. <laughs> And uh, we're looking forward now to uh, another assessment of his driving. Ethan, um, have you got anything you want to say before we begin today? Have you, is there? How how do you feel about this assessment now? Good. Oh, I'm not going to do anything silly like I did last time. And if I do anything silly, it'll be something entirely new. I'm sure. What, I will never do it again. <laughs> what particularly stands out last time? Or did you did you learn anything um, from the experience? It was just, I, I think, being a little bit too eager coming off slip roads was one thing. And just, I suppose, the wherewithal to be checking mirrors, whether you go whenever you are just stationary to starting, whether you're turning or going straight, always just check both mirrors because there could be a cyclist in the middle. Yeah, all good then. Well, we're going to get this show on the road now. Uh, again, I'm going to do this in quite a strict sense, but uh, unlike a real driving test, an examiner's not going to be pointing out to you when you make mistakes. You'll just get to find out at the end. Um, but to make this more worthwhile for you, of course, this will be more of a prompted mock test. So I'll be pointing things out. We we'll, might stop the car here and there and talk about certain things. Is that all right? Yeah, absolutely. <coughs> Okay, feeling good? Grand. Let's do it then. If you want to, if you're ready, let's get the engine started. Uh, and I want you to follow the road ahead at all times, unless I ask you to turn left or right. It's now 4.07. So this little assessment will be approximately 38 to 40 minutes long. Well done. I won't need to ask you to do that again. <laughs> so if you just follow the road all the way to the end, I want you to turn left. Okay, when we get there, um, we're going to get our first manoeuvre out of the way. You know what that is, don't you? Looking forward to it. Mm -hmm. I cannot wait. Oh goodness, who's rudely taken our space? Okay, just carry on driving for now. We'll see if there's another opportunity somewhere else or we'll circle back later. That's fine with me. Yeah, you've perked right up now, haven't you? Right then. At the end of the road, turn right, please, Ethan. What about your, how do you feel about how close you were to those part vehicles just now? I gave them a bit of space, but as you've said that, I imagine it wasn't enough. <laughs> Was there any reason why we were tucked in so close to them? Not particularly. I could have taken up more of the right hand side of the road because there was no one approaching. Well, you're going to be paying road tax to use all of the road, not half of it, so if unless you're sharing the road with other road users coming towards you, I'd keep well away. Do you know what I mean? What sorts of things could have gone wrong? I mean, anyone could have emerged from in between those cars or one of them could have just swung the door open. Yeah, turn right to the roundabout please, mate. Yeah, just don't unnecessarily be close to vehicles, especially the one that was badly parked at an angle like that. Yeah. 
I want you to pick up the signs for uh, Rugely now, please. You're looking for Rugely. Take the road on the right immediately after the traffic lights, please. Okay, just pull up behind the blue one there please just this one here. yeah just for a moment I want you to give yourself just enough room to get out a little bit closer and that'll do stop there perfect <coughs> and drive away when you're ready that guy's just moved Our friend that was doing the parallel park. Yeah. Can you just pull over? Yeah, I can, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, thanks so much for finishing that manoeuvre just then. Oh, what? Oh, deep breath. Yeah, you can do this, I'm sure you can do it. So, just yeah. Just a couple bad ones, it's what I mean. I know, yeah. Just think about what you got to do doesn't need to be perfect, just do it safe. Would you like me to do a parallel park? Yeah. Yeah, I'm just checking. It's all right, we know while we're here. use of the hazard lights there, well done. Looks like she's going to well, yeah, just be a, a little bit careful about the car rolling. If you're going to wave, I'd wave with the left hand. Okay. Can you think why? No. Because your right hand's hidden behind the A post on that pillar. So then they're not really likely to see it. No. Never thought of that. too far back so I'm going to pull further forward. Oh okay. I'm glad you recognise that. I 
had enough alterations. I think I'm going to pick the curb, so I'm going to move forward again. All right. Oh, it's very iffy. It's very, very iffy. I could be close enough, but I'm just not sure. Yeah, good. I'll, I'll play on safe. I thought you were going to be all right, actually. Very close. However, I'll take the chance. Yeah. That's plenty close enough, isn't it? Lovely. Well done. Yeah, nice one. I'm, ple I'm pleased that uh, it happened in a way because it, it's demonstrating that you're recognising when something's going wrong. You can get yourself out of this mess. You can make those alterations. And um, yeah, when you weren't sure, you um, you did the right thing in my opinion. Mm. Don't be soldiering on with something if you're not sure because if you end up on that footpath, that's a big problem. Mm. Okay, mate. When you're ready, you can drive away. I've been a little bit more observant. I'm doing one of the, the backwards. Moves. Yeah, every time you make an adjustment, you've got to check. Is it safe? I think I've checked one of two, you know, but not both. Lovely afternoon again. Have you got any jokes for me this week? I've already... I think I've told you most of them. All the good ones. All the ones you can say on air? Yeah. <coughs> family friend, friendly ones. I do like the one... Well, it's not really a joke, it's actually bad news. We'll um, turn right to the end of the road, please. About Reese, um, thingy, my brother. Uh, what's her name? She got stabbed the other day. Reese. Oh, what? The actress, Reese. Oh, uh, Winspoon. No, with a knife. <laughs> yeah, awful stuff, really. <laughs> <laughs> Failed. <laughs> Please don't put any uh, serious faults on me for that one. Serious joke. Yeah. And then at the roundabout, turn left. to decide what to uh, put you through today. What kind of wash we're going to put you through. <laughs> Has he done anything major yet? Who? The me. Oh, I won't worry too much about that right now. Oh, no, that's <laughs> what do you think? If it's, if it's gone wrong, where would it have gone wrong? Just by looking... Turn left for me here, please. Yeah. I'm not checking one of the blind spots, but I'm not sure if that is a major or a Well, if you're moving backwards and you've not through the looked through the back window, what could go wrong? Well, if anyone's there that I don't see, I could smack a right into them. Yeah. So now you're leaving it into the decision. Yeah. Why bother? Why do that to myself? Um. What about how close we were to the parked cars earlier? Now this is a better distance, isn't it? Yeah. For me, I'd be even more that way. What kind of a road are we in? One way. Yeah. <coughs> I'm always cautious in case you've got some kid on a scooter coming towards you, but generally speaking, you should be able to drive with some kind of confidence here. What would you say, and why? I mean, I'd like to say mine was because I want to pass, but I'm not sure if they were. Well, we're not going to do them on the real thing, are we? No. So I won't worry too much anyway. But at the end of the road, turn left. Good. And at the traffic light.
lights, follow the road ahead please. Yeah, so later as you're driving down this particular road where there's parked cars everywhere, unless you're dealing with a vehicle coming towards you, I mean, I'd be as far away from those parked cars as possible. And if you are having to pinch a little bit of the other side of the road, then reduce your speed a little bit. Too long in second. Potentially, maybe first in some situations. I'm so So, what is the rule with box junctions? In terms of what can you do, what can't you do? In terms of turning right or left. Mm-hmm. You can pull into more of a central position on the road. You can wait in that box so long as your exit is clear when you're turning right. Rule 174, highway code. Well so, done, well done there. So what I want you to do now, you see that black Audi? Yes. Can you pull up? Um, before you get there, please. Just put up on the left. Don't worry about the drop curbs. That'll do. Don't get too close. You'll make it hard for yourself. So unless specifically instructed to get really close to something, just don't. Because you know what's happening next. You've got to get it away quick. If you're really close to that vehicle, you have to steer far too much to get on around that problem. You risk clipping it, yeah. and of course, then you're far too far on the other side of the road as well. Anyway, yeah, drive away when you're ready, please. I'm not quite sure why you flashed for you to do that? Do you think he was flashing you then? Did you see the Audi flash his headlights? I didn't see his flash headlights, I don't know if that's how light it is. I'm not quite sure. I don't know if you thought he was giving you permission to do something, but you weren't causing an obstruction anyway. No. I even, well, stayed in first just in case I needed to manoeuvre even more, so I thought I gave him plenty of space. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I agree. Anyway, what I want you to do with the traffic lights, continue ahead past the Shell Garage, please. Well done, mate. You got yourself out of it there. Well done. Because that car was on the road market, so I couldn't see if it was straight and left or just, yeah. or just left. Yeah, it was straight and left. It doesn't matter. You, you, dealt, you dealt with it just nice. You didn't cause a problem. Great. Saw so him coming as well, so I... Take the next road on the right by the pub, please.
yeah, thank you kindly. Uh, now, did a nice job. I thought it was gutsy. I thought, yeah, a lot of people would, might have thought twice about that. Um, you did a good job, mm. confident with yourself, so good. Um, what could have gone wrong with it? Uh, I mean, did if you, that guy had cancelled his signal and decided he was going to go straight, I would mm -hmm. have had to cause the break and I would have failed. So maybe don't risk it. How did you know he was going to make that turn apart from his he indicator? He had positioned to turn right and yeah. it slowed down. Okay, so yeah, we're always... It wasn't just the indicator. Yeah, yeah, you're always looking for that secondary evidence as we were talking yeah. about before. Um, he was slowing down to move into the box. If you hadn't got your feet set just right and you'd have stalled the car, yeah. Do you think the car behind would have had time to stop? Um, the car behind him? Yeah. No. no. So, just something to bear in mind. You haven't yeah. made a mistake there, but uh, there's all these ideas and things going on in my head about yeah. what, what could go wrong, Potential but, but I'm, I'm, a, I'm a risk assessor. Yeah. But yeah, I know I like it. I like to see someone drive with a little bit of sparkle. I'm, yeah. I'm, uh, it's nice when I, when I see that happen, so yeah, good on you. Drive away when you're ready. So keen on these narrow country lanes. I just don't like them. I nearly crashed into that bush. Yeah. Well, talk to me, tell me what you're doing up here. I mean, I'm occupying more of the middle of the road because. Until when? Until about this corner here because I can't see what's coming. So I'm going to move <coughs> a little bit to the left and take my foot completely off the accelerator just in case. But I'm also watching this guy behind me who's not taking the same proportions. So. And now I can see there's no one, so all the beans. So mirrors first, and then you can get it going. Yeah, good. Because I'm not che I, I was checking the whole time. But I guess <coughs> yeah, I you were check. telling me you were well. You were telling me about the uh, the guy behind you. Anyway, but just make it explicit if you're doing yeah. a commentary drive. Just make it explicit. Now then, good. When you get to the end of the road, turn left for me, please. Okay, well done. To the next road on the right, please. Superb clutch control. Yes, because you pulled away in second. It didn't like oh no. <laughs> but you got away but with I it. Did, yeah. yeah. I don't know how. Would have been bad if you'd stalled and something was coming. I didn't even realise I didn't have a 
I thought you were just giving me a compliment. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, yeah, it was quite good actually, wasn't it? I'll just turn the uh, cold, colder air on for you, all right? Fancy another manoeuvre? Depends. <laughs> Depends what it is. We could go into the trooper for a pint. We could, couldn't we? It's actually very nice. If you just slow down a little, I'm just going to assess the how busy the car park is. Because there's all these cars here, I'm wondering how appropriate it is. So if you just slow down a little more... Uh, no, it looks too much. Yeah, might be a bit busy tonight. We'll find somewhere else for it. Don't worry. Just all these cars here. It is a very nice park. So what are your thoughts now? Tell me what you're thinking, what you're planning. Um, if I have enough of a gap after this bus, or if someone's going to hold themselves back long enough for me to get past the obstruction, I'm also thinking, is anyone going to come behind me? I'm going to indicate anyway, so I'm going to go off. But Good, yeah. Just in case. Excellent, well done. I was thinking about that, but now I've already started the obstruction, so I don't know if anyone comes towards me, so I've got no way to pull it. Yeah. So what about this group of people here? What are we thinking? Uh, go past him first. Why? Just, you are you are correct. Just in case one of them decides they've not had a bit too, too close. Bevs. Yeah, share the space again. There, yeah. just share it. I gave too much to people then. Didn't I? A little bit, and I was thinking, whilst you're being very wary about the people who might have had a drink there, and, and you're right to, and first gear was perfect. Share the space there. Okay, we are emerging onto this road now. Is it a right? It's technically a left, isn't it? But yeah. I am emerging right into. Oh, I see what you mean. Now, just use a left signal. Okay. <laughs> right. Tell me how you're judging this. Well, I've got a good enough space now for me to really get it. Well, going, what are they, 60? Is it? This one, is it 60? Or is it 70? 70? I think I'm going to go there. Okay. Because he moved across in the meter. Yeah, it was interesting what you said, 60. Uh, 70, because this is your carriage, right? I really was that for a second. But I really got to give it a bit. Is this guy going to catch you up? Yeah, we've 
I think there we shall we go back again we could circle back and have another look at that um, I think your initial judgment was great I just think you've got to really get the car going really get it going in other words that rev count I want you to get it up to four 4,000 revs before you start changing gears we really need to extend the gears to get it get it going we don't want to cause anybody to have to change lanes or slow down so would that have been because of the speed he was going and because he had to technically change yeah he was doing 70 perhaps and you were after a while you were still only up to 40 we've got to get it going a bit more We'll do a uh, left of the roundabout. So we'll have another little look at that section there because it's it is important that we get it right. I'm not having you fall down here. Henry's hate to go Excellent. Just like I knew it would be. We've just got to make absolutely sure that we get the car really going there. road on the left you'll see the slip road in a moment that's the one try to do your best to mine the potholes that's pretty good wasn't it that? yeah see you know at that particular junction um, onto the dual carriageway I do see a lot of people um, worry there they think oh, I'm sitting here too long it could be a very busy morning and there's a lot of traffic better to be waiting there and being a little bit on the hesitant side than pulling out when it's not safe to do so So yeah, we've got some people here. It could very well be that they're at a funeral if they're all wearing dark clothes. They might have had one too many. Yeah, and here, I just, just get right in the middle of the road, share the space between the cars on the left and the bank on the right, and just go real steady. Give them plenty of opportunity to see you. Yeah, just slow it right down try not to lose your mirror on these doors if they refuse to move so it's nice and easy that was better that was, that was a lot better Sure. 
carefully. Okay. Take your time. You might be sat here for a few moments at least. Take your time. Remember they're potentially coming at you at 70 miles an hour. You've really got to get it going and this is not a Ferrari. That's it, extend each gear up to 4,000. Go on, push harder, 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 next gear. Push it hard. Come on, get it going. Your foot's on the floor. <laughs> That's it. There you go. Nice job. Push it all the way up to four. You see how we got up to 70 much, much faster there. Well done. Ahead at the roundabout towards Burton, please. Yeah, it's the second exit. Alright, in this lane. for Litchfield in a third of a mile. following the signs for Litchfield. I'm going to grab you there, stop. <coughs> Everyone's in that lane, look. That could all spiral across, any of them. Right. It's a common, that there is a common assumption people make, just because we're in that lane, any time that could spiral across. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, if I get the colour. So just make so sure both can... lanes are clear. Yeah, I, I would always make sure that both lanes are absolutely clear before I commit myself to that one. Okay. Because 
as you know when we've come up from uh, the slip road from another direction there and you're following the signs into Litchfield if you're a little bit late noticing the road markings you're a little bit late positioning in that left lane aren't you yeah. any one of those other drivers could think oh I need to come off here and then of course you're you're slowly emerging on there and they're already coming around at speed at 60 miles an hour so just got to be a little bit careful there. I'm glad we found that one because that'd be a horrible way to um, learn that lesson. Yeah. If we've done that before, it's been clear, hasn't it? Yeah, yeah. It's not something we can really train for unless there's traffic there. So I'm really, uh, really glad he was there tonight. Follow the road ahead, please. yourself up I see a lot of people make that assumption we'll talk about it again in a minute and we'll make absolutely certain that we come back there and uh, I'm just heading in now to the roundabout please set of traffic lights if you take the left turn there please thought you were going to coast then for a sec no I was just slowing down so it was more comfortably in second I didn't know if I'd have to swap down to first but Just get round the corner. If there's a if there's a parking place on the left, we'll just grab that. If, if there is, I bet everyone's got home from work now. Just yeah, anywhere that's convenient, mate. No problem. Yeah, have a 
will do us nicely. Cool. That's fine. Engine off. Relax. Well, come on, talk to me. What what are your thoughts? I'm always annoyed at myself when I make a mistake. I've made two again. Hey. Um don't worry. You're here to learn, aren't you? You want you want your money's worth, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> so uh let, let let's talk about that one i see that happening all the time there's two lanes it would it would look like you're turning left <coughs> at the time i didn't see you use a signal but i thought i'm not going to confuse you by pointing that out right now i want to see how you how you deal with mm. this and what we've got is a roundabout it's actually a high speed roundabout where there's traffic co potentially coming around there at national speed limit um and anybody in lane two that looks like they're going right they can spar across the road at any time towards you yeah. now you ask yourself a few questions you got to know that first of all and then secondly you have to ask yourself if somebody was going to spar across the road have you got time Move to get it out of the way regardless see when i deal with roundabouts i don't particularly care where people are going i don't care if they're using signals i'm just wondering if they're doing something wrong does it even matter will it affect me at all mm. and that's the only thing i'm asking myself so i want you to ask yourself those questions if at any roundabout not just that roundabout at any roundabout it might look like someone's got a right signal on but they might just be late to cancel that signal before they start changing lanes and coming back to the left. Mm. And it's a really important one that I want you to really remember because um, so many people make that assumption, oh, I can go, I can go, I can go. He's going right. But how do we know? We don't know anything. The only thing that a signal tells me is that it's working. Mm. That's it. Uh, he might have music on really loud and he can't hear the fact that he's still got his signal on from an, another, another junction somewhere. Right, that's that out of the way. What were the other things? Mm, the pace on that, um, <clears throat> the first exit from that slip road, it was fine, sort of like, choose my moment again, but it was that, I think the van passed us at like 45.50. Yeah. And he did have to change well I, I know it's a major because it's um causing anyone to break you chose a good time to emerge yeah you judged that really well the first time you did it we took a bit too long to get it up to speed yeah. we're not driving in the normal sense where we're building up our speed in a in a steady way where we're in effect we're we're thraping the car a bit to get it up mm. to speed it's kind of like if you were driving down the road and a pedestrian who's jogging on the footpath suddenly goes into the road in front of you you're like oh my god you'd have to steer right to go yeah, around yeah. and it's a little bit like that for the other road users so you've got to make every effort to make sure the car is going fast enough so that you're keeping up with the flow the second time we did it no problem so what do we know about that extend the gears mm. look at your rev count if you need it let it get up to four thousand revs uh, really extend the gears because each time you go into the next gear along it's weaker than the last gear so you've got to make use of the gears we would not be block changing or anything like that no. nothing fancy i think i just didn't like first i took to four and then i think i just like like second was maybe three maybe four and then third was maybe three two or three and then i went straight to fourth and then we were just crawling yeah you were just taking it easy and generally speaking you were quite economical which i appreciate <coughs> can't do it there though no um anything else from your point of view like just positioning in terms of like close to park cars to people that was it for me as well and it happened right at the beginning of the, the assessment yeah. um when we were considering doing uh the uh the parallel park i, I said i'd oh, never mind carry yeah. on driving down the road and i thought you're making so much effort to stay on our side of the road 
but there's nothing coming towards us from the other side take all the road be greedy with it mm. you know i you've got to think yeah you pointed out to me car doors can open people can step out cars can pull away without warning and if you're really close to them you're that much close yeah. to that danger aren't you Less so, time yeah so yeah and when we came towards the slip road later on uh you got the people to worry about as well you know they're all maybe having a drink um yeah, just gave them too much consideration I think. Yeah, keep your eye on, on all of it and just yeah. share the space same amount of space on both sides you might i can tell from your energy you're feeling a little bit low after that you've done very very good today mm. and uh <coughs> got a tickle here um i'm pleased it's happened because i know you're going to learn and, and this won't happen on the real thing we won't tell you when ethan's got his real assessment uh, i'm hoping you'll just see uh, a nice big smile on his face and a picture soon um but yeah i, I... if you don't don't ask <laughs> you'll be fine anyway anything any of the further thoughts um, I suppose it's just, but yeah, I did see that gap when I uh, was turning right into the country road. I did see that gap and there was a car obviously indicating and positioning to turn right, but I didn't like full time I didn't consider that there could be an issue with me pulling off and then cause that other road user an issue and then. Like crash or yeah, you were you you were you didn't make a, a, a mistake in that regard. Yeah. I just want you to weigh up the Be pros aware. and cons. Do shall I just hang on just for a second? I mean, if there was a load of cars coming, you might think I don't want to wait here for ten minutes. It's a busy day, and I've yeah. got things to do. But if there's only one car, you might think, well, why we'll take the risk? Yeah. So, just just and just, pulling off in second, which I don't know, I did, but I did it. Wasn't a problem. I wouldn't even give you a, a mark for that. The car seemed to behave itself. Oh, right. I didn't even. I didn't even. I thought you no. were just complimenting me on my clutch control. I, I was. Yeah. <laughs> it was excellent. The fact you managed to do it means that the clutch control was spot on. So yeah, good. I'm pleased. I'm pleased. I'm. I'm still. I'm still uh, feeling uh, like you can do this. So uh, yeah. You've come a, a long way in a short space of time. That's it. Uh, I'd be interested to know any comments or questions that you might have. Uh, please leave them down below. Um, and we'll be back soon for another video. Let me know what you want to see where the videos are concerned. Do you want to see more of this kind of thing? Do you want to see me demonstrate actual test routes? Or is there a particular subject that you'd like me to film and explain in more detail? Uh, again, answers down there, please. And I'll speak to you soon.